Last Year's Journeyman was my first major series on YouTube, and it, it was a series that I don't, I don't think any of us, and I mean any of us who experienced it, will ever forget. It was a series like no other on YouTube. We started in Colombia. We drank a whole ton of Pepsi in order to become emphasised. It's not the right word. In order to become the Pepsi Max playmaker, we had success in Colombia. We moved on to Mexico, and we scored this. Oh, Oh my lord! Arguably the greatest goal I've ever scored on any FIFA, and we scored it on the journey. But we then headed over to Turkey. You're thinking, Jack, can you get any higher? Yeah, I did this. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Find me someone else on YouTube who has ever done that on a player career scored from their own half. And we won in Turkey as well. That was the thing with the journeyman. It was success after success. We then went on to Leeds, and it was a, it was a, um, 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 it was a shit show. No, 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 no. <laughs> Final game of the season. We needed to win to stay up. I went and got myself sent off. Okay, have you ever made a mistake? I mean, I certainly did. We then played the World Cup. I'm not even going to show you highlights of it. We came fourth in the World Cup. That was what was special about the journeyman. You see these other YouTubers, not naming names, they win. Okay, it doesn't matter what series they do. They can be Barnet. They can be AFC Wimbledon. They can be Sassuola. Within a season or two, they're Champions League winners and they've all got Callum Hudson-Odoi. They've all got Jadon Sancho. They've got the same people. What made the journeyman special was we didn't win, okay? We suffered. We rode through it together. I played in the Champions League for one season. Guess what? We went out of the groups. This year's journeyman, whoo, this year's journeyman is slightly different. We're not, well, we are making an original character, I suppose, but... It's not the Pepsi Max playmaker this time around. It's not even, as some have suggested on Twitter, the Tango Target Man or the um, Sherbet Sweeper. I guess that works. Or the Sherbet Sweeper. We are doing a series. It's a journeyman called Following in My Father's Footsteps. There's allegations out there already that I'm posh. And I think a title like Following in My Father's Footsteps, it doesn't get much posher than that. But this time... We're not starting in South America. We're not even starting in North America. We're starting here in Europe, in a beautiful country named Italia. Italy in English. The father, of course, whose footsteps are following in. I've blurred his face so far, but I mean, there's very good chances on the thumbnail. Is one of my favourite players of all time, Luca Donni. Luca Donni, a man so good, he has this fantastic song, which I'm sure we'll hear a lot through this series. Luca Donni is a fantastic player. You look at his record; he's just phenomenal. But he's also one of the best journeymen of all time. I mean, this is a World Cup winner, scored for Italy during the 2006 World Cup. This is someone who broke the record for being the oldest ever top scorer in the Italian top flight, as well as winning the European Golden Shoe whilst he smashed it up in Germany for a year or two. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal target man. But he is a real journeyman. The clubs he played for are Modena, Empoli, Fiorenzullo, Lodeguini, Treviso, Vicenza, Brescia, Palermo, Fiorentina, Bayern Munich, Roma, Genoa, Juventus, Alnassar, Fiorentina, and then of course he finished his career at Hellas Barona, where remarkably his 16th club, 16, this isn't a sweet 16, this is someone's end of profession, he dominated. He was phenomenal at the age of 38 or something ridiculous like that. He's now 42. He's handsome. He's gorgeous. He's one of the greatest players to ever play the game in Italy as a target man. It's quite a specific criteria, but he's definitely one of the best of them. And we are going to follow in his footsteps as Benedict 
Tonni. Whilst Luca finished his career with Hellas Verona, we're going to be starting our career in the same city but across town at local rivals Chievo Verona. Is it Chievo? Is it Chievo? We should probably find out as we uh, progress into the series, but for now we'll go with Chievo. We're going to be starting our career at Chievo in Serie B in this year's Journeyman! Hey guys, welcome to episode one. Doing hand stuff already. Hey guys, welcome to episode one of the Journeyman for 2020. You've seen the intro. We are Benedict Tony, son of Luca, and we're going to take Italy and the world by storm. We're going to have a set list of challenges, um, which have I confirmed them yet? No, but. I would like to, in this career, follow in my father's footsteps, it's in the title, so I want to see us win the Bundesliga, win a World Cup, but I also want to do what Daddy couldn't do, um, which is win the Serie A, I want to win the Champions League, you know, this is it now, we are in the end game, as the Avengers would say, I've never seen any of the films, I'm not a loser, um, but yeah, this is going to be a long series. Obviously, in an ideal world, we would have brought this out, uh, you know, day one of FIFA, but it was a big mess. So me, being a good YouTuber, being a, uh, if somebody wants to create good content for, I will leave it and I will vanish for six months and come back when I'm ready. Everyone else, you know, they got the views, they came in early. Me, I'm not getting the views, I'm not going to get the views, but we're here making the best content on YouTube. Scissors. This is our guy, Benedict Tony, you can see his stats there. I mean, he's not amazing, but then you take a look and he's already four star skills. Yet, I can earn plus one star skills, plus one star skills, plus one star skills. Does that mean I am going to become seven star skills? And what does that even mean? Let's take a look at who we've got in our team with us here at Kievo. I had a little scroll through. There's a lot of people I've never heard of, but there are some names that I think you may know. First things first, how many strikers does one club need? I'm the third best striker here. If you include the ones out on loan, I'm the fifth best striker here. So I don't think we'll get too much game time first season, but this is something we'll roll on to in a second. Vignato is one of the best young players in the world, apparently. He gets very good on football manager, turns into a superstar. Emmanuel Jacarini, who played in the Euros in 2012, I believe, and also played for Sunderland. So he's, he's a pretty big name, Joel Obi used to play for Inter Milan, there's people here, there, there are people here, and Kievo are a big club anyway, so I was a little bit surprised to see they were even in Serie B, so there's quite a good chance that we will piss this league, but I'm not going to be a part of that. Jack, why aren't you going to be a part of it? You've chosen Kievo, why would you possibly not be a part of it? I like realism, I said last year I wanted the save to be realistic, to a lot of people, four years with very moderate success and the best we get is relegated from the Premier League. They'd say, Jack, that is realistic. Not for me, I want it to be even slower. And this year, you don't have to start at 21, so we're 15 years old. And a 15-year-old isn't going to start games for Kievo. So what we're actually going to do, I believe, I don't know if I can check this, our birthday is in December. So we're going to actually, yeah, December 8th, obviously. So we're going to simulate... What a great start, we're just cutting out half a year until my 16th birthday. We're not going to do any training in that time because we want the progression to be slow. I don't want to be an 80 rated 17 year old. We're going to sim all the way to December 8th and come back and see if we get picked for our birthday. Look, there's a game the day after our birthday against Citadella. Let's go, let's head there and see what happens. The plan is play very few games this season. I imagine one this episode and then two in the next episode, and then go on to when we're 16. Maybe even look for a loan at a lower club before we break through at Kievo. You know, as I say, this is a process. I alluded to it in my intro. I'm not winning the Champions League next season. I'm not being at Man United three years in. If you're watching me, this is a grind. Okay, for you and me, neither of us enjoy it, but it's just the way it has to be. Benedict Tony is back, and look, the gaffer, he's here. You're in for the next match. We're in for the game. How are Kievo getting on this season? We're 12th. Jesus Christ. I thought we'd really piss the league. <laughs> I really thought we were going to come back, be like 10 points clear at the top of the table. And that was why I was going to get... Oh, God, we're crap. 
I mean, I'm saying we're crap, but I'm thinking, oh, it's halfway through the season, we'll probably come back. I think only two go up. So we are, I mean, 25 points away from promotion. There's no chance we're going up. How many teams? 20, yeah. Promotion pushes dead and buried. We're on ultimate difficulty. We are using a slider set from FIFA 20 OS Community Sliders. I think they're like the big boys. They make realistic sliders. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to it down below if you ever want to kind of follow their slider set. That's certainly what I'm going to be using here. And yeah, here we are. Look at me. What an incredible bulge I have for a 16 year old. Up against this dwarf. And none of the players that I've ever heard of are playing, so that's fantastic. It is a packed out stadium. Oh, I didn't name all the stadiums for Syria B because I completely forgot. So we will be playing at places like Town Park, but I did name ours. So, oh, it's gone now. Verona Stadium. And of course, we've got the Italian commentators. If you know me, if I'm playing in a country, that's the commentary language. And this stadium is, it's the closest anyway, to the Stadio Marcantonio Bentegodi. And the first touch of the journeyman is live! It's a very bouncy pass, isn't it? We're 12th for a reason, don't forget that, Jack. Entenka, Dior, has he played him one side? I mean, it's not the best start, is it? It's not convincing. Six minutes in, they've gone close. Citadella again, coming forward. I mean, they are destroying us, so we're 1-0 down. You can see why these boys are 12. I mean, this is really a tragic beginning, isn't it? People have said ultimate difficulty is a lot harder this year. As I say, I haven't touched... This is getting embarrassing. It's delicious. It's so slow. It's so slow. Our best chance so far, we nearly got into their penalty area. Mamma mia. I need to... I was going to do a big Italian intro, dress up as Mario, and I was like, Jack, don't disrespect someone else's culture. Although I'm not sure Mario is Italian. For fuck's sake. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Two nil down. At home on our debut. Hey, you don't get this from Jared HD. I mean, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Just wide. Really? Really? They're literally dancing on us now. Oh, I should have played it. Who are these two? Look, Beavis and Butthead just stood next to each other. First season of the Journeyman, the Colombian division was weird. So it, it, it was one of them, quite a lot of South American ones do it, where they have sort of a summer league and a winter league, and then there's like an overall winner. From what I remember, in the winter league, we came bottom, or like third bottom. The last, fr the first three episodes, I don't think we scored a goal as a team. We, we did, we definitely did. But we personally didn't score and we really struggled early on and then we kicked on. I think it's going to be the same here, but I think it might last four months rather than two weeks in terms of real time. Getting the ball moving it. I'll take it to feet again if you want. Good ball, good ball. Tony, have that, have that, do it. Do it. Oh, he's doing that one. I don't know how to do the running ones. We've scored! <laughs> Woohoo! Scored on the debut. Benedict Tony. Benedict Tony, born on a Monday. We get a little bit of luck with the bounce. It's a great ball through. Powered in. Power, power, power. Didn't expect that. Come on. Come back on. On his 16th birthday, Benedict Tony gets his first goal for Kieva. Benedetti, he's got good options. Oh, that could have easily been a penalty. That could have easily been a penalty. Oh, I thought we'd wiggled free. I needed to use my strength for a bit more. I mean, they are playing it out from the back, aren't they, really? Citadella are a neat football team. We should really be kicking seven shades of shit out of them to teach them a lesson. I've won a free kick there. I'm a big man, you know, I can draw fouls. It turns out, who is this? Who or what is that? He's a gremlin. He's four foot nothing, for God's sake. Shakarini. I don't remember him being that small. And they've, they've aimed the kick at him. Wonderful stuff. It's miles behind. What is that? Us? Anyone even challenging? No. It's a loss. It's a home loss on my debut. Scored a goal, but it's not good enough. I hope you're happy, Citadella. Enjoy the money. 
this was going to be a one and done episode. I think I forgot when you're playing online, a lot more happens. And I don't know if you remember that, but it just means career mode highlights are a little bit quicker. You know, you can do three or four games in one. We're only going to do two because there was a long intro. But I think we scored, even as a 16 year old, you know, I think we would be given another game. I think the manager would say, Thank you for scoring. I'm going to give you another game. We have got Salerno. Where are Salerno? Please be low down. Please be low down. They're not bottom. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, it's like pointless that. Like, da -da 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 -da. Salerno. They are having a good season. They're in sixth. They're they're near the big boys. It's a very foggy night here in Italy. Italy is a foggy country, especially down south. Salerno. I don't know anything about them. There's a real fog. A real fog in the ground. There is glass bearings up like we're in an ice hockey arena. So I imagine the locals here aren't too friendly. There we go. Look at that tackle. Could we start a counter attack here? Could we start a counter attack? He's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes. Could we start a counter attack here? That was a bad call. I mean, two counter attacks I've blundered there. Is he just not playing? What's going on? Has he dropped his control? Oh, for God's sake! I can't do anything right! I should have just shot. I think we've had more possession this game than we did in the entirety of the last. I should be in there, shouldn't I, really? I'm moaning about service. We go out wide and I'm still 30 yards from goal. Oh! 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 Did you see that, Trublin? The legend is getting born, baby. This team are trying to play it out of the back like Citadella, but they don't have half of the composure. We win it there. Look at that. Oh, oh. Six foot four, 190 pounds I am. And that's in real life. And I'm as agile as a swan. A swan in a lake. A swan in a lake on fire. And he's dodging the flames. Benedict Tony scores. It's two for two for the big man. Get rid, get rid, get rid. Good save, Semper. We definitely had a Semper last year. One of my four fans, please confirm that we had a Semper. I think it was at Galatasaray. Good save, good save, get rid. Why have I run out? Oh no, we're against Milan. <laughs> I think they've woken up a bit now. The manager probably said, did you see this lot last game? Did you see this lot last game? We should not be losing to them. Capezzi. Oh, just over. They're on the other team. I shouldn't sound so excited. But it's nice to see good football being played. Oh no, can Capezzi play a good ball here? We could be in trouble if he can. He didn't have to, he just ran in and shot. He just ran in and shot unopposed. Number eight, Capezzi. Good pass. Do as I say, not as I do. That's all I'll say. And do as I say, so. Don't score. Oh, they've hit the post, they've hit the post. Milan. Pulling the strings a bit, Milan. So's Capezzi. They're both good players. It's a nice dribbling. Good tackle. Great clearance. You got some height on that one. Sofian. Akpa Akpro. Da -da 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 -da. Akpa Akpro. Rock the Caspar. I wonder if they sing that. Jesus Christ, mate. Move it out a bit quicker. Sofian. So much space. So easy. Good save, Semper. This is a. Terrible start to the second half. They put it near me, they're idiots. Ugh, good save. Oh my god, why can't we get rid of it? I've just let them go straight past me. They've hit the post again. I feel like an Iranian embassy, I'm so under siege. Any of you fans of the uh, old Olympics? The problem is as well, we're, we're not even establishing characters at the team. Like, oh, this guy's doing this, which is funny. We're doing it with the other team. Milan, Capezzi. It has been 20 minutes of pure dominance to start this half by then. Then, Milan to Sofian, back to Milan. He scores. Well, that's against the run of play. What is that header? This is why so many young kids get a concussion, because they head it like that. Milan. It's gone from bad to worse. Remember when we were 1 0 up? This is the journeyman, ladies and gentlemen. The fans are sat there going, this is vintage journeyman. It's not good football at all. 
I mean, this Milan. What's going on? What's he doing? This Milan is a good player. He's a very good player. I mean, it could have been four, and they went close about six times in the first half alone. Maestro. My. It's 4 1. At the start, when I said our oh, words win the World Cup, I was joking, by the way, so uh, ignore that. You know, I didn't say it. You're putting words in my mouth. I don't want to sound like David Moyes, you know, very down and out and defeated the minute I turn up. But the problem is, what can change between now and the end of the season? Because we'll simulate until May and we'll play the last game or two of the season. But it's not like my team are going to get any better. It's just going to be a repeat affair. It's a 4 1 loss. 4 1. Two games, two goals for Benedictoni, but two losses for Chieva. As a journeyman, I care mostly about myself and improving myself rather than the club. But surely it has to get better than that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed it, if you enjoyed the intro, it took me ages to make, like, genuinely about six hours. If you enjoyed it, if you've had fun, please like, please subscribe. These are going to be coming out every Monday and Friday. Links for my Twitter and everything where we can talk about this more will be in the description. And yeah, welcome to the journeyman. Knocked it out of the park. It's been a long time overdue. Thank you so much for sticking around, supporting me. You know who you are, the people who are still watching from last year. This video is going to blow up. I'm famous now. Have a good week.